Hey everyone, in today's video, I will show you how to create accurate snare triggers. All right, let's get started. So here I have a mix and here is my snare track. So we're going to create this actual snare track and you can hear it here. And we're going to create triggers, accurate triggers, so that when you sample your snare, you will get correct triggers. Not only correct triggers, but you'll get the correct velocity also. All right. So probably everyone or most of you use uh, Slate's trigger plugin. So I'm going to show you sometimes why that can provide missed triggers if you just rely on it by itself. So if I bring up Slate's trigger here and let me just load up any drum sample. Let's use this one. Let's see. Let's see. Let's use this one. Okay. So now if I play, let's play the chorus. If I play the chorus, you will see here the triggers. Okay. So that's pretty simple, but sometimes the drummer will have dynamics or maybe some ghost notes and trigger will not pick that up. So let's go to an example here, here, this one right here. It might not pick that up at where it's at right now. The details are 58, which I think that's the default. I didn't, I didn't move it, but let's see if trigger the way it is picks this hit. Okay, see, so it barely picked it up, so that's fine. But there might be some other parts where that might not happen. Let's go, I think, over here. Okay, let's see what's going on over here. Okay, so you see over here, it didn't pick that up. So if I bypass this, and let me just mute the snare so we can just hear the snare by itself. Okay. All right, so it, it missed. So in other words, it's not as accurate if you do this. I like to create hits that I control and I control the velocity. And I'm gonna show you how I do that here. So let's get rid of this. Okay. And I'm going to do, the first thing I'll do is duplicate the snatch track. So let me duplicate this. I like to just keep the active playlist. I don't need any alternate playlists. And then the group assignment, yes. Even though I have my group bypass at the moment, eventually I want that track to be part of the drum group. So I select that. Everything else, I, I, I uncheck. Click OK. And here is my duplicate. And I'm going to rename this snare trigger. Okay, so now I'm going to just focus on this right now. So next, I'm going to bring up what I use is Massey DRT. And then I have to analyze all this. So I'm just going to go over here and click Analyze. And there it analyzes all the hits. Okay, or at least it tried to, but you're going to see a lot of missed triggers and everything. So. What I do is I bring this sensitivity bar and I bring it in between these two blobs or sections. See that right there? And then now I have to go through and make sure that each, each one is correct. So I unselect. Let me just zoom in a little bit. And then I start selecting just enough so I can see here the hits. So, so far everything looks good, see? So then what I'll do is I'll, I'll come back here and I'll do another section and then here, see right here? Okay, this could be a problem. So I have to zoom in here and that is right here. So I'll just zoom in here and I'll take a look and then I'll play it so I can hear it, but that looks pretty good. So let's see. 
Okay, so that's good. So then we move on. Okay, everything looks good. Here is our first. All right, so here's your first miss trigger. Okay, because I don't think this is a snare. Let's listen to it. Okay, that's, that's the tom roll. So what I have to do is I have to get rid of this. So I hover over, and this turns into a minus, and I just click it, and I got rid of it. All right, see, simple. And I know that these are accurate. And the velocity, see the bars also tells you the velocity. Okay, so let's continue. Everything probably looks good here. Everything looks good here. And here's the one that we were having trouble with. Remember this one? Let's listen. Okay, there's something going on there too. We'll fix that later also, but for now, it will trigger. And you see the velocity there? Okay, it's pretty low, and that's good. And that's good for ghost notes too. All right, let's continue here. Here are two hits. So let's see if this actual two snare hits here. Yep, so that looks good. Okay, all that looks good. And once you do this a couple of times, or you do this for a while, your workflow will be much faster. Okay, let's continue. All right, everything looks good. Here is where I really need to focus. All right. So let's listen. There are four snare hits here, and then there's like a roll here. And then this this miss trigger. We don't know if this is a ghost note or not. So let's listen first. Okay. So right here, there's something going on. This is probably like a, either a crash or a cymbal. But this might be a tom roll. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at... Yeah, see, Tom one right here. So that's probably, yeah, see, it's a Tom hit. So let me zoom in here and you'll see, yep, that is a Tom hit. So I'm going to get rid of it. All right. And now I just go back over here and we're good. And we picked up all of this, see, even this one. And Slate's trigger we probably would have missed this one. So I think this is more accurate. And I'll show you how we're going to add this to Slate Trigger once we finish going through everything. All right, so let's continue. Okay, everything looks good here. Let's see over here what's going on. That looks good. Awesome. Let's continue. That looks good. All right, let's take a look at this. Maybe that first one is a snare also. So let's see. No, it's not. Okay, so this is good. It picked this up. It's pretty accurate. This is pretty accurate. Uh, Massey DRT is pretty accurate. All right, so here there's a lot of stuff going on, a lot of inf snare information. So let's zoom in and see if, we, if it correctly picked it up. Yep, it did. Awesome. Okay, let's continue. That looks good. That looks good. I can zoom in here just to double check, make sure everything looks good there. Awesome. Okay, we're almost, we're almost to the end. That looks good. All right, let's just play this quickly. That looks good. That looks good. And that looks good. Awesome. So everything is fine. All the triggers are correct. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select everything and I'm going to render. All right. Now I can get rid of this plugin. And here are my new triggers. And this is accurate and correct. All right, so, and if, but if you listen to it, you're going to notice it, it just makes a noise. It just adds this audio click. It's nothing. It's not snare anymore. See? And that's okay. All right. Then what I like to do is I like to bump this up a little bit like that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so now that I have this, this is going to be now my sample. So now I'm going to bring in Slate. 
So let's bring in Slate Trigger. Okay, let's pick the same snare. I think it was this one, was it? No, this one. Okay. So now, you're probably saying, well, isn't this the same problem that we had over here? Well, yeah, but now we can we can work with this because we can do a couple of things, okay? We can either A, make this a little bit louder, okay? See, it's a little low. I could have fixed it in DRT, but I can just simply tap to transient, okay? Hit um, B to cut, and then I can just bring it up a little bit, and then I select this and hit Command H to heal it. And then I made it a little bit bigger, okay? But if you notice, there's something going on here. So what I can probably do is match it to this one because I think this is part of, yes, yeah, part of the verse. So I doubt that th this, should, this hit should be consistent with everything else. So I'm going to make this a little bit bigger or I'm going to bring the volume up more on this one. So let's bring it up there. Okay. So now if I hit play. Perfect. There we go. And now let's look at this over here. Okay. What I do is I look at maybe the lowest hit, which is probably this one. If you zoom out and you look at all your snare hits, okay, that's probably the smallest one. So I focus on this one and then I use the detail so I can catch it. Perfect. And one last thing I do is I like to I like to get the, the gains on this. And I like to see the, the, the meters hitting yellow, like like maybe even kissing red, but not red, just, just so I can see some yellow. That looks good. All right. And then that's about it. So now I have here... Accurate trigger hits. And then I can go and edit these if I want to. Whereas over here, if I had trigger here, let me bring trigger here. Let me mute this. They might be missed triggers because of all the information that the mics are picking up, like the mic bleeds from other other shells and, and everything. So, and even the, this double trigger here. Okay, so this is more accurate. You want to be as accurate as possible when you're dealing with snare triggers. You don't want to rely on, you know, just using this, or at least for me, in my opinion. I, I don't rely on using you know, this trigger. I mean, eventually I use it, but I, I like to create my own, my own triggers here. Okay, so this was a quick video, just quick, just, just to show you how I create um, snare hits that are accurate so that when I add samples to my drum mix, it, it, it's accurate and I have more control. I hope you enjoyed this video. Until next time, happy mixing.